Hi, my name is Kim, and today I will be showing you how to use Backtrack um, and a program that is available through that. It's Aircrack. What we're going to do is crack a WPA today. The first thing that you'll need to do is you want to get a terminal open. And once you have that open, you're going to type in Airmon, that's A I R M O N N G. And when you hit enter, you're going to see your interface. And there it is there. The next thing that we'll do is we'll type in airmon ng space start space wlan0 or whatever your interface is that could be different. And once you hit enter, you're going to be in monitor mode. You're going to see your monitor uh, mode interface name. And again, typically it's mon0, but uh, sometimes it'll be different. Now, if we type in if config space mon0 space down that's going to bring this down for a moment and this way we can change our MAC address and we're going to do MAC changer dash M and we're going to just put in a fake MAC address and it has to be a series of six char character sets uh, at that point you type in mon0 and that is going to change your MAC address. So your current and now your fake. Okay, now you need to bring it back up. So type again if config space mon zero. And instead of bringing it down, you bring it back up. Alright, now that we're up, we're going to go ahead and do an arrow dump dash ng mon zero. Typically about 30 seconds is good on this. I think that uh, no more than that really. If you're not getting anything, then you may have, have typed an error. You need to go somewhere where there's uh, more wireless available. But we've got plenty of information coming in right now. And we do see a uh, terminal that we want to hack, a WPA. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. So we can actually just control C at this point and stop it. Um, the next item we'll do is we're going to arrow dump. And it's always a good idea to just go ahead and copy that right when you've got it at access. So later on when you need to paste it in, that's available. So arrow dump dash ng space mon zero. Oh, sorry, it's arrow, arrow dump dash ng space dash c. And then your channel number. And the channel we're on is 6. Uh, you'll go ahead and put in dash W. And then you'll type in your word list name. Or the file name that you want to find the information in that you're going to be picking up so that we can crack this. And that's going to be WPA crack, or WP crack. Uh, then you'll put in your BSSID, which is what you copied in from up at the top. And then you want to indicate that all you want is the IVS. So it's dash dash BSID, BSSID, paste that in, dash dash IVS, space mon zero. All right. Now while this is running, we're going to open up a second console. Oh, because, I, okay, so this is going to run for a few minutes. You see the beacons speeding up up there. And what that does is send more interaction to the computer that's running over the network we're trying to get to. And what we're trying to do is find that station, that that computer up there. We're gonna, there we go. We finally got it. It's right in there. So at this point we're just gonna um, go to the next step, which is opening that second console up. With that console we're gonna type air replay dash ng space dash zero space one and then uh, space dash e now your ESSID which we had on that other one and, and you really can't see it right now if you scoot it over to the right it's uh, it's the last piece of information over there so you want to copy that or you can type it in. It depends on how difficult it is, but make sure it is case sensitive so you'll make sure you type it in the way that it reads. 
Um, and then you'll type mon zero. Uh, space, sorry, and then mon zero. Now, on the other terminal, you'll look for a handshake, and you can see we've already achieved that. So we've got our WPA handshake, and that means that the computer now recognizes our computer, and we're going to be able to interact. Uh, we've got the information to transmit this into the password. And that's what we'll do next. Our next step is we're going to go ahead, and in that terminal, we're going to type aircrack dash ng and then space dash w and then what you want to do is just grab a hold of your list that you've got to your desktop that's the best way and just paste it right in there and then you want to push dash zero dot ivs or I'm sorry you want to put in wp crack dash zero one ivs now this is running through a sequence to pull out the information to get that key up. And this may take this may take a few minutes, so um, we'll just go ahead and, and maybe we'll be able to speed up through this part of the program. And this this just it takes a little bit of patience. So you know we can watch the numbers run through. Uh, it is a fast process, a lot faster than any of us could probably find a phone number in the phone book. But uh, waiting and watching, it's like trying to wait for the the pot of soup to boil. It doesn't really happen if you're waiting for it. This is a pretty good program, and as you can see, that handshake um, actually happened right away. And depending on the size of the word list and the difficulty of the password that is trying to be hacked, it could take, you know, three minutes to hours and hours. And so you got to have patience with this. This may be a time when you want to walk away from the computer. But you can see here that we actually did a pretty good job of finding the key in a quick amount of time and that's it this is how easy it is to hack into somebody else's computer with free tools available online right so protect yourselves thanks